Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. And today, it's tool tip time. Oh yeah, you are about to become the god or goddess of all things tool tips. Hey, tool tips are important to us, right? We run into them all the time. They are there, lurking in our ribbon, ready to pop out when we least expect it. Don't you wanna have control over them? <laughs> Let's take a look at what the heck I'm talking about. So if I move my cursor up here to the ribbon and I put it on top of a tool, after one second, I get a little bit of information about that tool, it tells me what it is, and then after another second, another two seconds actually, I get an expanded tool tip. I get more information just in case there wasn't enough information already. So you have complete control over that. In fact, some of you, I happen to know, are tooltip haters. You know who you are. Don't be a hater. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to turn them off completely if you want to. So let's take a look, shall we? Let's go into options. I like to right click on the command line to pop into options because it's fast and I'm lazy. On the display tab in the ribbon, there's this whole section right here on all things tooltips. And we're gonna count rollover tooltips even though they're something completely different. <laughs> Just so you know what they are. So, if you're a tooltip hater, you can turn them all off by clicking on show tooltips and turning it off. All right, so, but then many of us still don't know every single tool in the menu, so we like a tooltip to show up eventually. So you have control over that limited information, the quick little tooltip. Right now it's set to one second. So one second after I move my cursor over a tool, it will pop up. Let's change that to two, we're gonna double it. This is great, incidentally, if you get paid by the hour. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we also have these show extended tooltips. That's that extra bit of information that shows up after you initially roll over the tool. So let's change that to four. Okay, we're doubling them both, double or nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and say okay, which for some reason takes a long time after you change the setting for the tooltips. It's almost like it's connected. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna move my cursor up to circle again, ready? One, two, there's my tooltip. One, two, three, four, extended tooltip. Oh yeah, you have complete control over that. All right, so because it says rollover tooltips, they didn't used to be called this in the beginning, just so we're clear. Um, what's a rollover tooltip? If I move my cursor over an object, it tells me information about it, the properties and what type of an object it is. That is a rollover tooltip. If I move my cursor over a circle, or a block, gives me a limited amount of information. You can actually control what information it shows to you. Did you know that? Um, anyway, that's how you turn them off if you don't like them. So if I come back into options and I turn them off, show roll over tooltips, let's turn those off. That's controlled by quick properties, incidentally, just for the record. And once again, it takes a long time to click on that okay. I can move my cursor, oh, no information, no information, and I know some of you are not a fan of those rollover tooltips. All right, now you know all there is to know about controlling your tooltip destiny. I need you to get out there and set it up to work the way you like to work, all right? You got it? All right, I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.